Prejudice as an intergroup process. Prejudice is a subject that has aroused great interest in human and social sciences since it refers to environments and problems such as the relationship with diversity, discrimination, civil human society, peace, cross cultures of extreme theoretical, practical and political relevance. This interest has intensified since the Second World War in relation to the discriminatory programs that developed around totalitarian ideology to the important forms of racism that have affected the United States of America and in recent times due to the important migration phenomenon in Europe. Eminent academics have indicated some personal characteristics as the basis of prejudice, reducing it to an essentially individual phenomenon Although influenced by social processes such as family education, Adorno, Frankel, Brunswick, Levinson, and Sanford, 1950. The psychosocial perspective, on the other hand, has its own characteristic in understanding prejudice as an intergroup process, Brown, 1995. In psychosocial tradition, in fact, it is possible to find approaches and theories that, despite having different reasoning, Explain prejudice and discrimination as phenomena linked to group dynamics. Starting from Allport's 1954, now a classic work, a broad consensus has been created among academics on the assumption that there is always a social categorization at the basis of prejudice. Prejudice is such because it is endured by an individual who is a member of a specific category. In the well-known studies conducted on minimal intergroup situations, Tajfell and his colleagues, 1971, found evidence to support the thesis that categorization into different groups, in-group versus out-group, is a necessary and sufficient condition for the development of intergroup conflict, and it is the base for discrimination of out-group members. The social identity theory, Tajfell and Turner, 1979, states that favoritism for the in-group and discrimination of the out-group are based on the individual motivation to maintain a high level of self-esteem. Since the image of oneself is strongly linked to groups that the subject identifies himself with, he will engage in a series of social comparisons in which he will tend to promote a positive image of his own groups at the expense of the unknown groups. On the other hand, it has been widely demonstrated that, beyond mere categorization, there are several factors that can influence the intergroup conflict, Rubini and Moscatelli, 2004. In the Sheriff model, 1967, the compatibility of objectives that the group set themselves is a fundamental factor in the genesis of intergroup conflict. In fact, according to the author, sharing an objective is the basis of the interdependence between the members of the in-group and the cooperation inside it. In the same way, the fact that in-group and out-group have incompatible purposes generates a situation of negative interdependence between the two groups that determine the conflict. In other words, the conflict between groups is determined by competition deriving from irreconcilable objectives and or scarcity of resources. This model, known as the Theory of Realistic Conflict, Campbell 1965, Sheriff 1967, has been questioned by the studies of Tajfell and his collaborators. Nevertheless, Tajfell himself, 1982, recognized the important role that interdependence on an objective or instrumental basis plays in intergroup conflicts, laying the foundations for prejudice and discrimination. Even in the recent international literature, there are several confirmations of the negative effect that competition on real or material basis exerts on intergroup attitudes. S. S. The video. Jackson and Armstrong, 2001, Mogadam, 2008. And extremely important topics emerge as the complex interactions between competition, cooperation, superordinate identity and perception of similarity with the outgroup, Brewer, 2005, Riketa and Sacramento, 2008.